Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron.com. Coming at you. Hope you, uh, are, if you're enjoying this, if you found this in video anywhere else, we got a Facebook page for basic Sorgonomics where you can find it on Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, YouTube as well. However, you want to consume it, whatever's easiest for you. If we're missing a format, let us know. Maybe we can see about getting on whatever that is or whatever listing that, that we're missing. Um, and please, uh, hey, subscribe to the newsletter as well over at Sorgatron.com, Sorgatronmedia.com. So today I wanted to talk about a, a concept. I was talking with, talking about motivations. Of course, we talk a little bit about um, kind of um, making choices and, and moving on with the things you want to do in your life. Of course, with our friends over at Fishing Without Bait, at fishingwithoutbait.com, a great podcast. Not just because I'm helping to engineer and kind of co-host it, but uh, no, it's actually a lot of fun and it, it, um, uh, it gets your mind kind of rolling, hopefully in a more positive direction without being too, um, uh, too, too wacky, I guess, would be one way to do it. Um, but I was uh, uh, kind of um, um, pondering some things and, and, and kind of where I've gone kind of career work uh, uh, motivation wise over over my career i guess uh, and 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 i realized like kind of going into very very vocally in my own head i don't know i don't know if it was vocally vocally at the time but going into school going into secondary no post secondary college okay let's just call it college um my motivations were maybe not so sound but <laughs> who who is is when they're they're about to spend fifty thousand dollars on an education that may not matter in the end uh but for me i i was always going through school trying to figure out what was the job i would hate the least um it wasn't my dream job it was in the back of my head uh for some whatever reason in the back of my head um I had a realization like, well, I'm not going to be able to cool, do a cool job. I'm not good enough to do this job or that job or, or, or something interesting. I'm not going to make a video game, you know, as much as I enjoy them. Um, you know, I, I don't find coding interesting enough, you know, even though I, I, I have a slight interest in it, but I don't see that being a job job necessarily. Um, and, and as I'm motivating through things, I found myself just kind of trying to find the career path that Again, I would hate the least. My mind uh, led to basically uh, Office Space. You know, everybody seen that movie, the Mike Judge film Office Space? Like that's what I expected out of my career. Is you you grow up, you have your expectations, you get the job that you tolerate enough that you can go on from day to day, and uh, and uh, and and then that's it, you know. And you do that for thirty years. Oh boy, did that change? Oh boy, did that change for a lot of people out there. Um, but that was it, you know, I, I, you have the influence of, of the people around you, I think to that, you know, or, or what you see or what you see on TV and that's it. Everybody gets a job. Uh, grandpa was a, at the electric company for, you know, 40 years or wherever the heck it was and, and, and has a pension and everything. And, and that's not realistic for a lot of people today. Uh, so I went, actually I had three different choices. I originally wanted to go for animation, I believe. Uh, uh, computer animation at the time because that was the exciting new field. But then I realized I couldn't draw, or or didn't have enough desire to to get good at drawing at the time. So so I kind of flew. I kind of I kind of drew out of that, which is good because it turned out it would be a ton ton harder than even just learning how to draw. Um, as as I watched my friends kind of go through uh, that 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 case. Um, and then, and then this might, this order might be mixed up. At a certain point, I almost went to uh, the Pittsburgh Technical Institute. Um, they were just building that fancy uh, place out there in uh, in Oakdale, out by Robinson, and uh, which is really really interesting because I then became an adjunct teacher there many many years later. Uh, but uh, I was originally going to go there for uh, IT. I was going to be an IT guy like Chachi, like my good buddy Chachi that did start off there and ended up finishing up somewhere else, and now is uh, as I as I many, say to many in the Ivory Tower downtown. Uh, looking down on me uh, at his job that he's doing a kick kick ass job at, um, and I finally found myself into web multimedia and web design. Okay, it's the right direction there, uh, mostly because I was finding myself interested in video, but I determined that I was not. Uh, I did not want to chase the dream to California. Um, it was more important for me to stay local, not home in Mercer County, but at least home in Western PA, Pittsburgh was always the map for me in my head. So that's where we ended up. 
And of course, that ended up into, you know, as we, I've chronicled many times, uh, uh, back into video, falling back into video. My God, could you imagine if I had an internship that worked out and I had a web design job? Would that have worked out for me? Would I have just had that office job that I would have tolerated for however long that lasted? Because we know, you know, hey, web design, I'm sure that's a secure place to be. Um, or whatever coding or flash design or director shockwave, the stuff we were learning in school. God, three quarters on, on, on macromedia director. How freaking unnecessary was that? But anyways, I know a little bit of action scripting out of that. Plenty helpful, I'm sure. But no, I, I know a little bit of code, and, and that, that gets me out of some sticky situations that I don't have to hire a programmer for. Um, but anyways, but going from that mindset, and I think that's a, you know, again, we talk about choices on the other podcasts, and we talk about uh, motivations and, and getting out of those places, you know, are, are, are you kind of, and obviously people are at different phases, right? Um you know, I might have gotten into a different uh, phase of my life where I would have had to stay at that web design stuff or maybe wouldn't have discovered other opportunities. Um, but there was something about getting into the video creative side of things that did spur a lot of those opportunities um, that have led to what we're doing here today, actually. Um, if I was a lowly web designer, would I have a podcast or have been doing a podcast for 10 plus years? Would we be doing all these things? Would we have this community that's in the chat room right here um, on a Tuesday podcast day that's hanging out with us from literally across the country? I'm checking that. I, I, I actually haven't checked who's in the chat room. Okay, they're mostly local. No, actually, there's one from El Paso in there. Hello. Um, and I think that's, uh, I don't know what that means, but but it was just uh, kind of interesting kind of seeing how the, that goes and how we change. How has your path changed over the years? Um, I know, I know people have been talking to me on, on the Slack and on, on chats and stuff about, you know, uh, well, I used to be X, you know, and, and very interesting that, that I talk to certain people and I own, only know them through this chat room, through this, this focus. And then to learn like, you know, Hey, I have a background in such and such, um, is, is, is really interesting too. Um, and I always wonder how did, what led you to where you are today? And, and I hope that, uh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does, but it was just kind of an interesting spot. Like I went completely from let's just figure out how to tolerate the work career in the rest of my life to, okay, I won't accept anything less than a certain level of excitement in, in projects. Um, I don't take on or have a project on the book that I'm not a little bit interested in. Like, and I'm sure this might be a little bit weird as I'm dealing with companies, but a lot of times they'll tell me, Hey, I want to do this, this, and this. And my response isn't, we can, we can do that, or let's do this, or we'll figure that out. It's sounds fun. And that's my genuine response. Sounds fun. Let's do this. And then I start worrying. <laughs> um, and I hope, I hope a, a lot of people uh, can find a way to find the fun thing uh, uh, along the way and and figure that out and figure out how that works for them as well. Hell, a lot of that stuff I still am learning how that works for me on, on the grand scheme of things. Um, but but really pleased that, that, that that's kind of where we're at with things. And I've gone so far from pff, what am I, what's going to suck a less? Uh, basic Sorgonomics, uh, Sorgatron.com. Let me know your thoughts as well. Uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitters as well. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.